pancreatitis is a disease that is directly related to your dog's nutrition needs to be part of your plan to treat the disease and that's something that as soon as your dog's diagnosed your veterinarian is going to discuss with you if you've gotten to that point and your dog's been diagnosed you definitely can try homemade dog food your veterinarian or canine nutritionist can help you to develop recipes that will meet your dog's nutritional needs as well as help to treat the pancreatitis typically a low fat low protein diet is recommended for dogs with pancreatitis but that's not all that there is to it you need to consider your dog's age breed size activity level there are a lot of factors that go into creating the best homemade diet for your pet so with that being said this recipe is a great starting point and you can certainly use it um, when you're talking to your veterinarian or canine nutritionist print this recipe out if you click the link below the video it'll take you to my written guide and you can print the recipe there Take it in, discuss it with the expert that you're working with, and they can help you to either make substitutions or add some supplements or multivitamins to make this nutritionally balanced for your pup. This is a low fat, low protein diet. However, um, you know, low is kind of a generic term. So, you know, your dog may need a little bit more or a little bit less protein, a little bit more, a little less fat. So specifically with pancreatitis, there are different stages. And so depending on kind of where your dog is at and all of those other factors that I just listed, that's gonna determine the best food for him. So you wanna make sure that you're consulting an expert who's gonna look at all of those factors and come up with something to meet your dog's unique nutritional needs. The first step to making this wheat pasta and chicken meal is to brown one tablespoon of olive oil in a large skillet. You can see I already have the oil in mine, so I'm just gonna spread it around. The first step to making this wheat pasta and chicken meal for dogs with pancreatitis is two steps. The first, you're going to bring one cup of whole wheat pasta to a boil. Cook it according to the instructions on the packaging if you're unsure how to cook pasta. Um, so that's whole wheat pasta. That's boiling over there and while that's boiling, I am going to take one tablespoon of olive oil and I'm gonna spread it around and warm it over medium heat in a large skillet. Then I have one pound of boneless chicken breast that I've chopped into pieces appropriately sized for my dog. I'm also gonna add one cup of broccoli chopped and one cup of carrots chopped. Again, chopped uh, according to my dog size. I have medium size and large breed dogs, so mine are chopped for those size dogs, but if you have a little teacup or a toy breed, just chop them according to what would be appropriate for your pet. So we're just gonna let these cook through. It'll take about 15 minutes. I am gonna cover these and cooking them on low again for about 15 minutes or until they're cooked through. The chicken needs to be fully cooked and um, the vegetables will begin to soften. I have some chicken cooking back here for uh, another recipe that I'm going to be making for my pets later on this afternoon, but um, this one is finishing up on the front burner. So I have the chicken, it's all thoroughly brown, the veggies are starting to get nice and soft, and I'm going to take my cup of whole wheat pasta, it was one cup of dry whole wheat pasta, cooked it according to the instructions on the packaging. And now we're just going to dump them all together, I'm going to shut the heat off and just make sure that I mix this really well for serving size guidelines as well as the nutritional information for this recipe, go ahead and click the link below. That will take you to my detailed written recipe guide. You can print the recipe there if you wanna take it in and talk to your veterinarian about it um, or just to have on hand if it's something you are gonna be making for your pet. Um, that's there, you're able to print it. And as I mentioned, you can see how much to serve your dog and all the nutritional facts listed in that written guide as well.